Today's special is laptops. We have big ones, small ones, fast ones, slow ones. Please stop by our electronics aisle. A while back I did a Dell Studio 1558 simple upgrades to play Overwatch as such. I upgraded to 4 GB RAM to 8 GB DDR3. I replaced a mechanical hard drive with an SSD and loaded Windows 8.1 Professional with all the current drivers. And then I showed you a video about using desktop graphics card on it for gaming. Well shortly after the video was uploaded I noticed my laptop sounded like a blow dryer. Yeah, a blow dryer. Or a small aircraft trying to take off. Thinking with the mini PCI graphics card unattached, my GTX 750 Ti driver was the cause of this. But no, maybe a dirty blower fan? Is it aged? Yeah, it's aged. Ah, finally gotta crack that puppy. I don't want to, but I have to, or I just gotta put it back under the bed to collect dust. Editing at the time, I asked a friend to tear it down for me. Not familiar with this kind of work, and only one time watching a YouTube video, he had it back to me within 20 minutes. Now I might find my answers. Now, revealing the fan compartment, dirty but not severe, this part of the cooling was not the problem. It was only after removing the heat pipe style cooler, I was able to see the thermal compound was broken down, was cracked, and to the point it was no longer made contact with the chipsets. Yes, this is bad if untreated, but I think I have a remedy. Sure, I could have just replaced the thermal pad, but these copper shims are uh, going to transfer the heat better and they're going to last a lot longer. Okay, just go ahead and uh, spread the compound like you normally would, just placing a shim on top and then uh, spreading the compound back on there again. Yeah, but what about the upgrade? Okay, trust me when I tell you this set to i3 was perfectly fine, but you know, why settle for a V6 when the V8's pretty cheap? And uh, heck, it's an i7, and uh, who gets to change their laptop uh, processor very often? Oh, the exciting part out with the old i3 and in with the i7 why haven't you hit the like button yet jeez Okay, now that everything is where it should be, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble, put a fresh install of Windows, find the most up-to-date drivers, check the temps and fan speed when idling, and of course, if that all checks out, we shall performance check. Yeah, the fun part. Keep watching and share this video right after you leave a comment, and uh, man, I got to get out of here. I feel like modding something. So, see you the next time. Peace out.